Well, I guess on a on a more positive note, I should probably talk about something good that I have finished watching recently. Um, uh, a while back, I said that I was uh, starting to watch Stranger Things, and about a week ago, I finally finished up season one, and it's now got me excited for season two because this show is actually really damn good. Um. <clears throat> Um, yeah, and the thing about it is, I've already heard, like, a lot of people, uh, especially through, like, social media and Vine now that, uh, before it died out, <laughs> um, I've been hearing a lot of people talk about how, like, this show is, like, really damn good, and, uh, even, even my editing professor, uh, at the time was, uh, raving about it constantly, and, uh, you know, after finally getting around to it, um, for the summer... I ended up really liking it. I think it is... I think the acting is really damn good. I think the the characters are well written. Uh, I love the setting. I love the setting and f feel of the film. Uh, definitely capturing that um, Stand By Me, uh, Goonies kind of... Uh, Goonies and E.T. kind of feel. Um because that's definitely what it feels like it's trying to aim for, the, that kind of uh, audience that loves that sort of thing. Um, sort, of the, sort, of the, sort of in the same frame as uh, Super 8 and how it did, uh, how it tried, uh, how it was uh, trying to uh, appeal to that audience. And, you know, I was one of the people who really loved Super 8. So, yeah, it, the show worked for me. Um I gotta say, it was actually really nice to see Winona Ryder working in, you know, something really impactful like this again, because uh, I, I don't see her working that much as I usually do. Um, I mean, I know she's done, like, voiceover for a few films here and there, but, you know, it's nice to see her in good spirits again. Or at least uh, in a good point in her career, I, I should say. Um... Yeah, the, 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 there's definitely a lot of mystery that has that that really that really sucks you in, um, especially with the uh, disappearance of one of the one of the four middle school friends that you that you focus on, and you know with with the uh, with the arrival of the little girl uh, Eleven. Uh, Millie Bobby Brown, uh, really fantastic young actress. Like, uh, and honestly, all of them are real. All the young actors under twenty in this film are fantastic. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, I I believe their relationship as kids, uh, their friendship with one another, it it feels believable. It feels like you're watching something that would have easily been something you would have watched on like. Uh, Friday nights, like, oh, what's gonna happen next? Oh, what's gonna happen next? Yeah, I would. I, I, I honestly would have loved to see this uh, in, in in a syndicated format. Um, but you know, with Netflix, you just go right through the season right there. Um, still need to get to thirteen reasons why, though. Um, although I heard some things about that show that kind of pissed me off, but I haven't seen it, so I can't give any thoughts on that. Um. Uh, I also like uh, the uh, older brother character, um, the the older brother of the missing kid, who uh, is also uh, another child of Winona Ryder's uh, in the series. Um, he, I was actually really, really impressed with uh, how they've written this character. Um, you know, uh, just uh, uh, that's the best way to describe it. Um, you know, just not being the stereotypical uh, bully brother, but always being someone who's determined to someone who's determined to make sure that their family is safe. You know, especially since the dad's not there. Um, I I, re I really like that. Um, and I think the chemistry with the uh, the main kid's uh, older sister. I think the chemistry between the two older siblings is that is really damn good. Um. <laughs> it's, uh, 
Although I was kind of a little bit uh, irritated at how she decided to stick with the boyfriend who had friends who, you know, kind of didn't like her. Or her friend, uh, Barb. I don't know, I, I got too attached to Barb before she ended up getting sadly killed off, which they confirmed, and I'm like, shit! Thanks for lying to me, Golden Globes. Um, yeah, and David Harbour, uh, th this was another reason why I wanted to watch the show, is that, uh, you know, I've heard, you know, I, I've, I've been told that because the Hellboy films are being rebooted, uh, instead of getting Ron Perlman back for it, they decided to get David Harbour. And, you know, from what I've seen, because uh, I... Yeah, I, I remember seeing him in Suicide Squad playing, like, a minor character, and I'm like, okay. But after seeing him in Stranger Things, I'm like, that's Hellboy. I can see him as Hellboy. Good. <laughs> yeah, um, so... Well, I'm sad that Ron Perlman and Guillermo del Toro are returning. Uh, hey, new Hellboy movie? Actors good? Looking forward. Um, yeah, I don't want to go into too much detail with uh, Stranger Things on this one. Uh, just, uh, I think the show's good. Um, really good. Um, season 2 coming out this October. Looking forward to that. And I'm definitely going to be talking about it for uh, 13 uh, Nerdy Nights of Horror. So that's going to be fun. Uh, yeah, th there's a lot of other Netflix series that I should get around to. Um, you know, I, I'm actually one of those few people who's never seen Orange is the New Black, so, you know, maybe I could start watching that. But, eh, who knows. Now to talk about uh, another thing that's on the downside again. Momentarily. <laughs> 